All right, let's welcome in CP the franchise, creator of Knicks Fan TV, was in the building Saturday night for game one. CP, great to see you. Uh, Knicks leading this series one game to none, which is not shocking, but the way they won may raise an eyebrow or two. One without getting an amazing game from Jalen Brunson. Deuce McBride, Josh Hart were both brilliant. How important is the Knicks winning a game when Brunson wasn't at his best? Mark, good to be on with you. This win was critical for the Knicks because as the, the statistics show, 77% of the time, the team that wins game one, they win this series. And so the Knicks could not afford to have lost that game last night. Philadelphia took the lead at the end of the third quarter behind 24 points between Maxi and uh, and Kyle Lowry. And so for the Knicks to be able to overcome not just Jalen Brunson's bad game, the Nova trio of Brunson, Hart, and DiVincenzo shooting 33% from the field. OG Ananobi not really being able to be aggressive defensively based on foul trouble in the first half had it not been for the Brent bench heroics of Miles McBride Mitchell Robinson and Boyan Bogdanovich we could have been singing a different tune all right CP when you look at Embiid obviously re-injuring his surgically repaired left knee last night toughed it out two of 11 in the second half but he's struggling how much are you expecting from Embiid the rest of the way it's still an MVP, Mark, and so you can't uh, discount him too much, but uh, he's laboring with that injury. He did not look good, but yet and still, he can still impact that game. We saw a lot of Philadelphia, Philadelphia utilizing him as a screener, freeing up Tyrese Maxey when he went off in the second half. Joel Embiid can still use his size to get rebounds and, and also being able to, to knock down outside shots. So although he's going to be a shell of, his, of himself, the Knicks cannot take him lightly. All right, Embiid uh, may have been hobbled, but that takes nothing away from the job Mitchell Robinson did on him much more effective than Isaiah Hartenstein with his offensive rebounding and defense on Embiid how important is Mitch going forward in this series for coach Tibbs critical as we saw Isaiah Hartenstein was was limited yesterday in, in Sunday in Saturday's win with foul trouble and just ineffective on the offensive boards uh, Mitchell Robinson was critical and the next depth is going to come into play here as a battle a bigger and physical Joel Embiid and so for Mitchell Robinson Mark this was a well-deserved night for Mitchell Robinson he missed 50 games this year due to injury in a year that he was having arguably the best year of his career and all NBA defense uh, career and so for Mitchell Robinson to have that night at MSG to have the crowd behind him it was a really good story for him. all right well Embiid might be limited but we know Tyrese Maxey for the Philadelphia 76ers is brilliant 33 points Saturday night what can the Knicks do to slow down the former Kentucky star Set the deuce loose, Mark. Tyrese <laughs> Maxey with Miles McBride as the primary defender shot three for nine from the field, 33%. Conversely, against the rest of this Knicks team, he shot 59%. The game changed once Maxey went off in the third quarter. The crowd was chanting, we want deuce, we want deuce. And when Miles McBride got back in in the fourth quarter, you didn't hear from Tyrese Maxey that much. And so he's been an impactful defender for the Knicks. Tyrese Maxey is one of the fastest guards in the NBA and so they're going to need to deploy Deuce McBride a bit more to limit him in this series. All right, what adjustments do you expect from Philly Monday night? Expect them to be the aggressor. We've already heard head coach Nick Nurse pleading and politicking for more foul calls for the Philadelphia 76ers. I'd expect a more aggressive Tyrese Maxey to pick up the playmaking capability of a Joel Embiid and supporting cast. Only one on one shot attempt from three for Buddy Heald. Also lackluster night for Philadelphia supporting cast and Tobias Harris, Nicholas Batum, and and uh, and Kelly Oubre. And so the Knicks need to expect Philadelphia to come out with a fire. And for the Knicks, they need to recover with their starters a big night for Jalen Brunson he really has two bad games and I think Captain Clutch is going to come up big you know what CP you were in the building Saturday night it is on it is great to see Nick playoff basketball in the spring in Madison Square Garden there's nothing better is it Moose if they win this series I need to see you outside of Madison Square Garden crowd I'll be with there us, absolutely it, it, it was electric so a good time to be a Knicks fan for sure Knicks fan TV CP the franchise hey uh, CP appreciate the time tonight anytime have a great week you got it you as well